guys, Tony here with CCXRC. We're in the garage at the workbench. Going to do a couple of different types of videos. Some will be in the studio, some will be at the workbench, others will be out on the trail. You never know what you're going to get. Uh, today, I just want to show you kind of what I've moved on to. I'm almost done with my G-Made Sawback build, and I've got a couple other projects that I want to be working on. Uh, namely with the SCX-10. So on the last one I was already building, it wasn't driving. I took the time to waterproof the G-Made. I have not yet done that really to the SCX-10. And so that's the next stage for me with this truck. Uh, I've gone ahead and I've put in the, the metal links, um, but a, a lot of other things are just really stock. The battery tray, in fact, is still in the back. That's kind of like a big no-no uh, with these vehicles as far as the weight being on the back, especially in these longer Jeeps like I have. Uh, you can see here I've got the RC four-wheel drive worn winch on the front. It's not connected to anything. Why? Oh, look over here. Plasta dip. I've taken off the electronics and I've dipped them in Plasta dip to waterproof that because those components will short out if they get submerged in water and so i used to have it sitting right on this tactic servo but i think i'm going to move that because when i move the battery tray to the front i think that it's going to hit um i'll see uh whether or not that's the case when i actually get the mounts in here uh, but i'm going to take out the servo i'm going to waterproof this as well i've got marine grease and white lithium grease whatever you know different things i can use but i'll use the marine grease on this uh and then i'll go ahead and once i put marine grease in here to really seal up um this connection here i will uh then plasti dip this i've got my spectrum receiver in here i've got 10 extensions ordered that i'm going to use four or five or whatever however many are on here uh, and then I'll plasti dip this as well. And so that'll be both waterproofed. I'm going to keep this uh, Axial AE2 ESC. Uh, I could get the Hobby Wing 1060 Quick Run like I have for the other build. But the drag brake on that just it doesn't give me a whole lot of options. And uh, it's only 21 bucks, so I could add it later. But for now, you know, I've got this. Why spend 20 bucks? I'll just get a 10 cent balloon and I'll wrap this in a balloon and I'll stick it back on here. So back to the battery tray. Um, going to be removing this and I saw a tip on uh, YouTube where one of the users used this tray and some of the extra mounts and spacers in the kit that came with the truck and he's able to mount it using these two bolts here and uh, this opening here. So you remove these bolts, you get longer ones, 30 millimeter, three by 30 millimeter bolts uh, that'll run here. I couldn't get any of those at the local shop, so I got something like a three by 35, and I'll cut those down to be um, three by 30 so that it'll connect if I need it to be shorter. Um, and then I'll put the tray here in the front, get the weight to the front of the vehicle, um, I got to see how long the extension is for uh, the winch to see where I'm going to mount this thing when it's done. Um, I could, you know, make a little tray over here and set it on the side or I'm not sure at this point. Like I said, it might still fit here on top of the servo. I'm just worried that when it goes down, it's going to, the extra height will make it hit the battery tray if it's here in the front. So I've got to think that through. But that's what I'm working on right now. Uh, I got to strip down the axles, put some marine grease in there on the bearings and everything. This really hasn't seen water. It's got a little mud on the tires, but really, you know, I've only gone, you know, not even axle deep really. So everything should be fine as far as that goes. I hopefully won't have any corrosion or rust or anything going on inside the axles. Uh, but I'll tear those apart, see what I've got going on. Uh, add grease as needed to replace whatever I need to. And we'll get this thing waterproofed and ready to hit some water and some mud and do a lot more than I've been doing with it. Uh, just because I knew that I had not yet waterproofed it. So that's the update from here. Weather is absolutely beautiful in Chesapeake, Virginia. We're right by Virginia Beach. I'm sure it's getting colder for you northerners, you Canadians up there. Uh, hopefully it's not started snowing for you guys yet. But 
you know what? That's one cool thing that you guys get to run that we don't have very often here is snow. And I would love to, to be able to run these guys in the snow a little bit more. But anyway, whether you're facing cold weather or you're enjoying beautiful warm weather or perfect 70 degree weather like we've got right here, I hope you guys are having fun RCing and we'll catch you later.